Now in this short video session, we are going to look at how to explore the derivative of a function. Students often find it difficult to visualize what a derivative of a function is. So in this uh, short video session, we are just going to look at um, how to find the derivative of sine x. So for this, I am going to uh, open a GeoGebra screen and uh, so as you can see that the screen has an algebra view and a graphics view and there's an input bar at the bottom and if I tap on the graphics view uh, this little triangle shows me certain icons and I can adjust my graphics screen for example I can remove the grid at the back by tapping on this icon I would however like to have the axes and I would like to enter the function fx is equal to sine x and instantly GeoGebra feeds it into the algebra window uh, that is fx into sine x is in the algebra window and its graph appears on the graphics window. Now uh, you might uh, want to see what the derivative of sine x looks like so let us take a point using the point tool we tap on the point tool here and we tap somewhere on the graph of the function. So we get a point A on the graph of the function and I would like to now draw a tangent to this graph at this point. So I go to the uh, toolbar which takes me to the tangents option. So I select the tangents option and I have to click on the point A as well as the graph of the function uh, so that GeoGebra draws the tangent to the graph of sine x at A. So when I tap on A and the graph of the function, I get the tangent line. And note that in the algebra view, uh, I get the equation of the tangent line as well. So we get y is equal to 0 0.68 x plus 0 0.17. So of course 0 0.68 happens to be the slope of the, this particular tangent. Now if I use the move tool and drag the point A along the graph, I can see that the tangent is moving and dynamically its equation is also changing in the algebra view. So this is a pretty dynamic thing and it's very impossible clearly to do this using chalk and board. And that's the beauty of GeoGebra or any dynamic software for that matter. Alright, now I would like to measure the slope of the tangent. So let me define a small s in the input bar which we will say is equal to slope of the tangent which is named g. So I'm going to enter s is equal to slope bracket g and enter that as well. So the algebra window now shows me s and note that s coincides with the slope of the tangent. But as I entered s notice that GeoGebra has also drawn a little uh, triangle here which is a slope triangle with a base of one unit and it says s equal to 0 0.47 this is indeed very handy because now when I move the point across the graph the slope triangle keeps changing dynamically and you can see that the value of s is sometimes positive and sometimes negative and of course when it is on the peak somewhere on the peak then s is also close to zero Alright, now that we have a tangent moving across the graph of sine x, I would now like to draw the derivative. So what would be the derivative? Now I'm going to define a point B. So let me define a point B whose x coordinate will be the same as the x coordinate of A. So I will type B is equal to, for the x coordinate I'll put small x bracket A, which means the x coordinate of A. And the y coordinate should be the value of the slope of the tangent. So I'm going to enter s here. And when I press enter, again the point b goes to the algebra window. Notice that the x coordinate of both a and b are the same. So even if I move a along the curve, b moves along with it. And each time we find that the x coordinates of both a and b are the same which means that b is either directly above a or directly below a. However, 
the y coordinate is different because the y coordinate of b measures the slope of the tangent at every given instant. So all that I need to do now is to trace the path of b. So what I could do is right click on the point b and trace on. And now when I move a along the curve, the path of b is actually traced. And notice what is happening now. Beautiful, isn't it? So we get to trace the derivative function as we drag the tangent along the curve. And we all know that the derivative of sine x is cos x. So let me define a different function, say h of x is equal to cos x. Yes, and indeed we see that it coincides with the traced graph. So the GeoGebra has actually traced the graph of sin x. This is very handy to visualize the derivative function. And now if you wish, you can actually change uh, your function. So for example, if I were to uh, right click on sin x and go to object properties, perhaps I could change sin x to something else so let's let me just put sine instead of sine x i could say sine maybe sine 2x let's see what happens now well the green graph is a graph of sine 2x and i'm going to use this to remove the earlier trace and i'm going to hide the graph hx notice now that i can still drag the tangent by using the move tool along the graph of sine 2x but this time because the trace was on it is tracing the derivative of sine 2x so what is this new function the derivative function so let us now say f dash x i'm going to enter f dash x onto the input bar and see what is it acts I get f dash x is 2 cos 2x and therefore the derivative function of sine 2x is 2 cos 2x. So we can keep changing fx as per your need and exploring the derivative function. I hope that you found this useful and uh, please do share your feedback. Thank you very much.